Dr. Gautam Sinha Roy, Fund Manager, Mutila Loswal Asset Management Company. Gautam, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks very much for taking out the time. Good morning. Is it looking like uh, a good run for the markets uh, into budget Thanks, and post Sandeep. that? Good morning. Well, yes, but with bouts of volatility because, you know, election results are a clear risk. People don't know which way it's going to swing. And incrementally, whatever news flows keep coming in, be it the state election results or, you know, some of the developments post that, uh, it's all very confusing right now, right? So I think volatility will continue to play out till, to the, uh, till up to the elections and it should be a sideways market. That's what we sense. Plus the other thing is, if you see domestic liquidity incrementally is drier than it was last year. So that will also play a role here. So it will essentially be a flat market with a bit of volatility. Right, uh, Gautam, what essentially is your view as far as numbers are concerned? Now the biggest call or biggest strategy note that we keep reading, we talk to various fund managers, they say that numbers are on a cusp mm -hmm. of a pickup. What is your expectation? Do you think that expectations are already high for India Inc? They have been very high. If you look at uh, the EPS expectations print on Bloomberg uh, from the Nifty or Nifty 500, it's been uh, very high for a very long period of time and the disappointments have been very strong for the last four or five years. Having said that, I think, you know, the biggest driver of earnings delta this year is going to be corporate banks, the return to profitability of corporate banks and that is pretty much sanguine, that has to happen. So definitely there is uh, improvement in the reported numbers because of this delta which comes in corporate banks. Uh, the problem is where beyond corporate banks, right? So do we see once this adjustment, this delta adjustment happens, is there a structural earnings growth story that's going on? That is not that sanguine honestly. Uh, we are not seeing great growth. Uh, across sectors, um, well, growth is has been there in pockets. Like you know, it was strong in retail uh, banks. It was strong in the financialization theme, like insurance companies and all that. Post demon, uh, consumer, especially premiumization, had been growing in pockets. Last year, we've also seen select IT companies go uh, do well. Metals did well for a patch. So you know, it's a it's a hodgepodge of mixed. Uh, uh, bank, uh, you know, so earnings growing somewhere, not growing somewhere. So it's not a clear, secular earnings growth trajectory that we are seeing even now. Uh, but yeah, from a reported Nifty print perspective, the sheer delta in corporate banks will do the trick this year. Uh, beyond that, one remains hopeful that there will be a pickup in the economy and there will be a pickup more importantly in corporate earnings. But uh, it is not very broad based as we speak. Portfolio manager, where are you building your position, uh, especially, uh, you know, through the earnings quarter that is being reported? Do you think that it is okay uh, to be overweight still on the high price consumers because they are delivering? Okay, uh, so if we look at from a valuation perspective, consumer really uh, remains an outlier in terms of valuations being expensive. Uh, you have to be there to some extent, but one has to be very selective about the stocks that you are uh, playing in consumer. Only the stocks where you know earnings growth is uh, very strong, 20% plus, is what would excite us today. Beyond that, structurally, the banking set, especially the CASA funded banks, including the corporate banks where NP improvement is happening, they uh, remain a very interesting place to be in. I think uh, the structural play on financialization of savings is still there. Uh, there also valuations had become a bit uh, expensive for the listed entities like the insurance companies, life insurance companies and all that. But yeah, that, that growth story still remains. Uh, given that this is an election year, there is domestic volatility, uh, IT companies are getting, uh, have actually gotten back into the growth mode, they are delivering better print than they were a couple of years back. Uh, IT remains a good place to be in too. So I think it's it's a mixed bag. It's not a very concentrated uh, kind of uh, investment strategy today. It's a bit more diversified. You have to be in different pockets. Beyond that, of course, one remains um, hopeful about return of the investment cycle. So because investment cycle had also been subdued for a very long period of time, uh, that also had been showing signs of pickup uh, in the last one year. There again, you know, it's all been driven by government and uh, semi-government entities. It's not been a private sector capex return. 
so one has to be mindful of the election risk too that order inflows will be weak as we head into elections but structurally can the investment cycle pick up yes it can uh, the 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 uh, the uh, the real uh, icing on the cake would be if the real estate cycle also comes back because real estate also has been in doldrums for a very long period of time so led by end user demand if real estate activity picks up in the economy that will lead to a lot of um, you know follow on activity um, overall gdp uh, employment everything will benefit from that so that is something that we'll look forward to through the course of the year uh, you know, generally, you know, you never talk about capex infrastructure. You always want to play the quasi infrastructure or companies that have a structural growth, and you know, not probably cyclical. Are, are you seeing a cyclical pickup in some of the sectors, which could be interesting? We are not seeing very strong signs of that yet. But yeah, one uh, just because you know the bottom has clearly been bait. Uh, we have seen these sectors not performing for a very long period of time be it real estate uh, be it the overall private sector capex uh, be it the overall uh, investment cycle so to speak i think given that the bottom has been made the chances of an improvement from here are definitely strong uh, but we're not seeing very strong signs of that right uh, again the signs that we have seen has been pocketed they have been transient like at uh, one point of time steel demand was very robust there was a point of time there have been times when cement growth has been very robust so it's not uh, like we are seeing great signs of it but it's not that things are very very bad either right and one remains hopeful that overall investment cycle does pick up from its um, low level so that 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 remains a trajectory that one will be watchful for but the chances of that happening is high because we have been through the downturn for a very long period of time Right, Gautam. Thanks so much for taking our time for us. Always good to get perspective from you. That was a view coming in from fund manager of Motilal Uswar.